Hello everybody, welcome to Simulator Fan News with me, Mr. Sim Gamer. I hope you are very well today. So, we are jumping in, guys, we are jumping in to a conversation about police simulator patrol officers. Now, I am a big fan of this game. But, massive but, this game is so buggy. It is on the level of The Sims 4, as in buggy level. Um, but yet I still play it because I, I'm just obsessed. But they have a big challenge coming ahead of them this year. They have Police Highway Simulator coming out. Um, it was due to come out in September. I think it's going to be a little bit later. I'll pop my um, my little preview of this video just above so that you can take a look. Um, I'm hoping to get early access to this. So keep an eye. Make sure you press that little bell on my channel so you know of any news that comes up in relation to simulator games. But today I want to talk to you about police simulator. Um, and specifically police simulator patrol officers. They released a number of different, um, they've, they've literally, in, in the time that I recorded this, I've had to re-record it because an hour ago, as you can see in front of you, they have just released yet another patch. Um, they are constantly having to patch this game up because there are so many problems, but the fundamentals in this game are amazing. I have clocked over 60 hours on this game because I love it. But there's a few things that bother me a little bit about these updates. I'm just going to jump into them with you now. So, this scares me. So, an update about mods. On Monday, they announced that they are going to be going into more detail on their... Um, at, I just want to... Modding. In recent weeks, we have released several free new free uniforms that can be enjoyed by everyone. And as some of you notice, they are far more detailed and complex than the ones we had before. Which is great. If they can add a bit of complexity to the game, amazing, but fix the bugs. Um they are mentioning here that. They have now updated the mod kits and templates to ensure that modders get as many files and templates as possible. We've included multiple uniforms. Okay. Um, this is interesting. They have released as of yesterday, um, which is uh, Tuesday the 13th of August. They've released a new unmarked vehicles. Um, mod. I am going to go through that in a moment as well. But I'm just a little bit concerned about them opening up mods. Are they going to be checking these mods? Is it going to be a free for all? Is it just going to keep breaking the game? I haven't actually downloaded any mods to my base game because I play this game a lot with my sister. Um, and she has a Mac and uses. To, to play so I just wonder how they're going to handle this and I just want to pull this statement out we apologize to all modders who might have received negative comments regarding this bug it's like this issue will completely yeah there's just so many issues with the game itself and it's no modders fault so if modders are going to go and do their hard work and then the game is buggy anyway, I don't know. I don't know. I just say fix the base game, then roll out a more comprehensive mod solution. That's all I'm saying. Right. Now, this is a update that came out last Friday, so I'm taking it back a little bit. Um, apparently this is a very special undercover and truly hunting announcement now 
I'll explain each of these so that you don't have to watch this four minute long video. Which... Hello and welcome to a new episode of On Patrol. Yeah, it's actually nearly five minutes and it's not that great. It's, I can tell you exactly what it says. They have released a new pack, a new bit of DLC, um, which is worth twelve ninety nine. But all it is, is unmarked vehicles, which is eight cars. You can see them all in that little thumbnail there. And four new skins. Again, you can see the different skin type for some reason. One of them is a pizza delivery van, a car. Um, I'm not really that impressed. They're really honing in on this fashionable patrol car skins i mean i don't think that is one thing which any police simulator person is really that concerned about i own all of the other dlcs but this one i don't think i will bother with i'll be honest with you and then they go on to say that is not all okay um they brought out Four new uniforms. Now, these are the ones which look more realistic. And I have to say, they do actually look more realistic. They look a lot more 3D, a lot more dynamic. Um, none for women. As a female player, I would like to see them introduce a little bit more on for a woman. I probably could rock that vest, though. I'll say my avatar could rock that, um, that vest. So they the hunting comment is about they they are I, I don't know how to describe this so they are releasing something called prop hunt and it's part of fortnite creative it's not yet in development um but it is going to be free and the idea is that you go around hunting certain people I'm not sure how interesting that is, to be honest, for players, considering that we have a buggy game and it'd be great if that could get fixed. Um, they're going to be at Gamescom, which would be really interesting to see what they're going to announce on the 21st to 25th again. But it's going to be, yeah, let's see. Let's see what they come out with. Let's see what they come out with. The one thing that I would say about these guys is at least they are releasing patch updates and regularly. So this one here, um, lots of bug fixes. This is the release. This is the announcement of the, yeah, there's a female there in that vest that looks like. Um, this is the announcement about the cars. Yeah, they look, they look cool, but. Twelve ninety nine cool, not really. Are these twelve ninety nine cool? No, not really. I keep, they keep saying cool, fashionable. Although these ones are free, so I'm good with that. Um, and bulletproof vest that would be really fun. I mean, if people actually shot at you, like that, like this game doesn't really have that type, level of gameplay. It's more. They flee from you and you wrestle them to the ground. I've never encountered a moment where, even if they are a person that is armed, they're not really dangerous. I mean, I this is more to do with the ratings of the game. I believe it's not a high level um, over 18s rated game. So that makes sense. Uh, so the skins, the gameplay, there's lots of fixes for the gameplay, lots of fixes with the NPCs, which is one of my big issues with this game. The NPCs do crazy stuff. Multiplayer, I play multiplayer with this game the majority of the time with my sister. This was one <laughs> which was driving me insane, not being able to see the multi-map. So I'm really pleased that they have fixed that one. Um, yeah, patrol cars. I didn't really have those issues uh i would love to post some of my issues <laughs> there's just so many of them so many of them and of course today which is why i've had to redo this video um they have released yet another update fixed the missed 
Uh, dismissed driver, injured NPC spawning under truck hood. That was an interesting. Uh, <laughs> that's an interesting one. The highway police um, patrol uh, DLC did bring some brand new, very very classic. Um, fixed falling service vehicles, fixed patrol vehicle trunk. Yeah, just got some more fixes. I'm really pleased that they're bringing out patches. Just means you have to update your game constantly. But do honestly, if you're playing this game, do check for updates each day, each week, really, before you start playing. Update your game because they they are working on it. In their defence, they are working on it. Um, I will leave it up to you in the comments whether you think that that undercover car and skins is twelve ninety nine good. I don't know. Leave leave your thoughts below. Just leave your thoughts below. I'll leave it at that. Thanks so much for joining me. Have a great rest of your day, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.